Yo, what's going on? You tuned in to another episode of Mez Drinks and Chill. Got a special guest in the building, Eddie Valero. What's up, man? What it do, what it do. AKA Ms. Deborah's son. Yeah. What's up with you, man? What's going on? DJ Sway had me tapped in with you, man. I'm fucking with your music. Heavy. For sure, for sure. Heavy, heavy. Um, how, you, how you feel in the city? Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte. Yeah. It's your first time here? Second. Second? Yeah. On a promo tour? Yeah. 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 First time we just was fucking up. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You hit up any strip clubs yet? Yeah, honest, honest. You fuck with it? Yeah, I fuck with honest. That's what's up. Oh, you got rid of the grill? Yeah, I got rid of the grill. <laughs> <laughs> no more uh, 30 grand on the girls? Nah, <laughs> nah. I'm going to get some portion of it. <laughs> I hear that, man. I'm glad to hear Charlotte's treating you right. So yeah. we're going to start off with a uh, true or false, right? All right. Simple. I ask you, it's either true or false, right? Uh, the name Valero is named after a gas station? True. True? Expound on that, or it just is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, true or false? Orange Mound is one of the safest places in Memphis. False. All the way false, right? All the way false. How was it growing up up there? Rough. Rough. Yeah. Simple, just like that. Rough. Yeah. I mean, it's like every hood in America, same way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True or false? You were 12 years old when you started recording music. True. Yeah. How'd you get? How how you start recording music at 12? Just in the hood. Yeah. Beats come on. Like, I always used to have a CD player and shit. Yeah. So. He said a CD know. player. Yeah. CD player. <laughs> yeah. That's throwback. Yeah. Um, True or false? You got your Cuban chain from Rap Money. False. False. <laughs> yeah. so you say that in one of the songs, right? False as hell. False as hell. Um, True or false? 50 Cent is in your top five rappers? <laughs> yeah, I know this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I studied you, man. I got to know something about the artists that's in front yeah, of me. True. Yeah, true. that's yeah. true. 50 top five. Yeah. That's what's up. What you like about 50? I just was around when 50 was in the do rags and niggas yeah. had G <laughs> And he a storyteller. I like this for shit. Sure. Yo, I'm yeah. so glad you said that. A lot of people don't give him his credit for being a storyteller. Yeah, 50, 50. 50 different with the story. Even now, even his intros be crazy. Yeah. Like on TV shows, all this shit go hard. Yeah, it do. That's crazy you picked up on the storytelling. That's one of my favorite things about him. Baltimore yeah. love thing, 50 bars of pleasure. Oh, one shit. Everybody was a 50 fan. For sure. For sure. All right. You said it was rough growing up in Orange Mound? Mm-hmm. That's part, that's like a, a section in Memphis? Yeah. Like a neighborhood or that's just like, I don't know. It's a neighborhood. It's a neighborhood? It's the second biggest neighborhood in America besides Harlem. As far as black, right? It's black, yeah. black community. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Um, how did uh, the death of Young Dolph impact the city of Memphis? Hard. Uh, yeah. He was the one that was giving a lot of independent people chance, like building them up from scratch, no buzz, no nothing. Like was signing everybody from the ground, so it was hard. And he took care of a lot of people though. I heard he would just throw alley oops to artists, like just pull up on them and hit them up, throw them songs, like. For sure, he did me like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, alley hooped me a song before. That's what's up. What song? Uh, you, fuck the cops. Fuck the cops. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, one thing about you is like when I listen to your raps, it, it don't sound like you just get in the booth and just start, you know, some niggas would be like, yeah, I just got in the booth and start rapping. I'm like, yeah, I could tell. Like, but when you get in it, you be, you be, you be rapping. Yeah, I be rapping. I write anything though. Oh, you actually write your music? Yeah. I could tell. I could definitely tell. Like songs like Baker Man, Gangsta Party. I'm like, this motherfucker, he, there's no way you just yeah. jumping in the booth and just. No, nah, that ain't no freestyle shit. It's my freestyle. Like, did they code? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, that's why I like this. Don't wait, this dude's not rapping his lyrics. And your beat selection is crazy, too. Yeah, I got a good beat team. Shout out to my boy, Shiffy. Oh, he in the building? He Shout right out there. to him. Shiffy oh, he makes the beats? Yeah. The beats made, are different. That's he made that. Gangsta Party, uh, Baltimore Switch. Who made Jazzy? Uh, his name Channel. It's my, uh, my <laughs> oh, producer. Yeah. He signed to the label. He signed to the label. Smart. <laughs> yeah. You got some good beats like That's one of the main things. Because I listen to the, like, it's an easy listen, too. You don't have a lot of features. You don't fuck with features? Yeah, I do. But, when, like, on my project, I be wanting this shit to be about me. Mm. You feel? But on a new project, I got one feature. Some <laughs> legend, from, some, yeah, legendary yeah. shit. I got one feature. Oh, it's too early to let out the bag? Nah, this one here crazy. I can't let this one out the bag. <laughs> you can't get a special, special drop on this one? Can't let the cat out the bag here? Nah, it's some top five type shit. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Top five all time or right now? All time. Who's in your top five all time? I can't get you my top five. <laughs> 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 he on point with his shit because I was going to do around, process of elimination. Figure, for figure sure. it out, but he top five though, for yeah. sure. That's what's yeah. up, man. Congratulations early on that. Appreciate That's it. That's what's up. You deserve it, man. You working hard. Yeah. How long you been rapping? I've been rapping since I was 12, but I've been taking it serious for like four years. 
Four years. Yeah. That's a lot of work to put out in four years. Yeah. I could I feel like I'm behind, really. Behind? Yeah. What was that first project? Eight 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 day eight way. From then on though, you've been on fire. Like you came this out one, the gate on fire though. This like. when I first started. I mean I had projects before then on Spin Real. Oh yeah. But Eight Day Eight Way was the first joint I did on Eddie Valero and it just was like yeah, because I just, when Suede introduced me to your music, I'm like, hold up, I got to really check him out. He was like, Yo, if you want to interview, I, I was like, bring him through. Because I listened to the whole shit. I'm like, I just let it run. Yeah. For like three, four days, just let everything run. I'm like, nah, he's really rapping. Like, appreciate it. We, we appreciate that. But um, what, what about with your music videos? Like, your treatment on music videos, like, do you come up with that yourself? Because yeah, you don't I have the typical, I, like. I direct all my videos. I come can up tell with everything. You. Yeah, you're real creative. Where does that come from, that, that creativity? Watch TV. I watch <laughs> a lot of series and shit. Yeah. So it's like growing up, and I, I be just trying to paint a picture with the words anyway, so. Yeah. Um, like Jazzy Phil, congrats, Baltimore Switch. Like, I'm watching them videos. I'm like, hold up, man. He's, somebody's putting some thought behind these videos. Really, Baltimore Switch, though, it just was like, I pulled up on Schiffer. He played the beat. It was like the first or the, what, it was the, first or the second beat or some shit like that. And... Hold just so gangster, <laughs> for real. You know what I'm saying? That hoe was just so fucking gangster, and we knocked the joint out real quick. Yeah, I did. The, I dropped song like Thursday, like Saturday. I shot the video. Oh, it take you that fast? You could record. Yeah, like that I mean, like if it, like I did the no, I did the triller. Uh huh. I did. I dropped it like Thursday. I dropped the triller like Monday, and the triller had hit like seventy thousand on Instagram. <sighs> so it was like, ah, right, we gotta put this shit out. Yeah. We, did this shit. It really wasn't no treatment of them. It was just on some gangster shit. Like, yeah. How long does it take you to write a song? Like, as soon as you hear a beat, how long does it take you to complete a song? It depends. Like, Lero Band play, I wrote that one in 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> it might take me, goddamn, it, two hours. It might take me two days. It def- depends. You ever like, deal with writer's block? All the time. Yeah, that's how you know somebody's a real writer. Yeah, all the time. If, you, if somebody say they write their lyrics and you ask them that, they'd be like, no, I'm like, Something ain't adding up. No, all the time. Yeah. That's what's up. So you really actually put thought to you. And it, and it shows in your work, bro. Like, Appreciate for real. It. I fuck with your music heavy. Appreciate it. Yeah. What's popping shit when y'all be saying I'm popping your shit? Popping, man. <laughs> popping, you know. You got a different way of doing it. Yeah. Even when you talk your shit, there's, what was the popping. song? You said 2020 Vet. Did you say I'm the first nigga to fart in it? Yeah. <laughs> That's a different shit. I'm like, yo, this nigga's really stuck on the it. first nigga to have it. First nigga to fart in that motherfucker. Sneeze in that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. First nigga to sit my ass in the seat. Yeah. Still had plastic on that bitch when I got it. Facts. You fuck with the vets? Yeah. Do you fuck with old schools? Yeah, I fuck with old schools. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking for a motherfucker, uh, uh, Monte Carlo now. What well, yeah. Yeah. Like a, a specific 86, year? 86. Uh-huh. T top. Yeah. How's the city? Yo, Memphis is like low key taking over with the rap music like everywhere you turn it's a new memphis artist rapping like yeah. taking over memphis been hard it's like now it's spotlight on but memphis been having a lot of rap stuff that's true for years since the beginning yeah are y'all how how is it with the like camaraderie with them like is i know it'd be a little bit of tension here and there but like it's coming together that's it's better different. than what it was first it's coming together for sure do the ogs be stepping up like the og rappers do sometimes they? sometimes yeah some of them do some of them don't yeah Fierce. Do y'all fuck with them? The old, old like yeah. I don't want to call them old school, but you know the OG rappers. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure, I do. Yeah. All right, so I got uh, this portion of the interviews where you you know you just pick this or that, right? So I'm gonna okay. give you two options. You pick Flemings or Texas Roadhouse. Flemings, <laughs> Flemings got them fucking steaks <laughs> with the black potato for Flemings. Yeah. Flemings. If you can change your past or see in your future, which one would you do? Probably change the past. What would you change? I don't know. I want. I don't know. Just like you know, I know more now, so it's like the, the fuck ups. Yeah. Would I? I make change so that make sure my path like. And yeah. I probably went to college or some shit. I was still rap, but like. Yeah. Yeah, I want to go to college. I don't know why, but I do. What would you study? That or you? You never. Literature. Even, what is it? Literature. Literature. That's yeah. what's up. Eight ball and MJG or three six mafia. I'm from where eight ball and MJG from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We from the same. For sure. But I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to say three six just cause like three six beats was crazy. For like, sure. And I ain't that fucking old 
to listen to eight ball like that. yeah like i heard like i call like the ass in yeah like eight ball was out they was probably like 92 91 and shit. Mm -hmm. i was born in 93. yeah you know what i'm saying so right. like three six was coming up like stay fly on the crazy oh yeah ever. that shit was crazy yeah yeah three six three six yeah martin or fresh prince Martin. Martin? Yeah. Why? Why? Any specific reason? Martin just funny as so yeah. And this shit always come on. Yeah. But like, yeah, they like. Neck and neck? Martin, yeah, Martin <laughs> take over though. Yeah, I feel the same way. I rock with Martin better. Um, Chief Keef or Waka Flocka? <laughs> as far as music, I don't, yeah. I fuck with Flocka personally. This is my partner. Yeah. Damn, bro, you guys are crazy. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sosa though, for sure. For sure. It's Sosa a goat. Yeah, Sosa had a big ass influence over there. He like how I was talking about Fifty Cent. Yeah, like Sosa like paved paved the way for a lot of people. He in your top five? Nah, Sosa ain't in my top. <laughs> nah, five. I'm trying to figure out who on this album. I That's fuck, what I'm I fuck, to... I fuck with Sosa. He ain't in my top five. Yeah. Though. Independent or major? Independent. You staying independent the whole time? Until the majors do what the fuck I want to do. Yeah. When we can come down and sit and like, it makes sense, yeah. But what would be the point of going major at this point? Because it seems like you got to figure it out. For the machine. Mm. You know. Yeah. Certain points zone, but like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It just depends. Like, I'm independent. Like, I pretty much be touching it where I need to touch, but we just grinding right now. Yeah. Yeah, so. They are doing it the right way, too. Um. All right, so as far as business, would you rather have unlimited Uber Black or would you rather have free flights? Free flights. For sure? Yeah, hey, I got Uber money. <laughs> I, got car, I got a car, too. <laughs> a yeah. lot of cars. Yeah. Free flights. Shh. That's what be, yeah. This, yeah. You got a project coming soon, too, right? Yeah, until they feed me three. Was that the 25th? You yeah, dropped the 25th? April 25th. April 25th. 13th. And just one feature. Yeah, one feature. Ten songs. Yeah. I'm gonna give you that 10 song. You said what? I said I'll give you that, let you know how many songs, 10. <laughs> but you ain't gonna give me that special feature. Problem we have, like, I'll give it to you before I leave. Oh, okay. Why the yeah. camera roll? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what you drink out there? Because we were drinking on tequila. You don't really rock with the tequila? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I do. Casamigo. Yeah. Who's the features? Like, if you could get your top three features, who would you? get right now yeah, besides yeah. besides the one on your album i ain't trying to even get to beside anybody beside those that one i don't know that's a good one and she had to be like fucking taylor swift oh he went totally left uh chris brown some shit drum ass some shit like some shit that'll make it be like big drake for sure oh yeah for sure yeah yeah yeah, yeah it'd be some shit like that well, how you feel about uh, John Morant and everything he was going through in your city? Fuck with y'all. Keep that fat. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't do nothing wrong. Keep they ain't do nothing fire. wrong, right? The whole thing he did wrong was go live. But the nigga keep that fat. Yeah, for sure. Because that, you know, you got sponsorships, all type of deals. Like, you can, that go right out the window. We fuck with y'all. It's the only 12 we fuck with. <laughs> I wish I had my drop to <laughs> press the button. <laughs> You said that's the only 12 we fuck with. Yeah. So tell me about Orange Mountain. Like, did, are they going to drench fry it anytime soon? <laughs> Nah, they don't gentrify Memphis. Nah? Nah, even when they do, they still ain't got it. Like, if they knock the project down, I can take you over to a block. It's yeah. like one block from FedEx Forum. It's shit, the projects. That close? Yeah, they close. But is is it like a Charlotte, like you can, you only like have like two to three degrees of separation. Like, if I want to get in contact with somebody, it ain't that hard to get in touch with them, whether good or bad. Is it like that in Memphis? Probably be even quicker. Memphis small. Really? It's a small city. Yeah, you can get anywhere in Memphis in 20 minutes. Damn, Charlotte kind of like that too. It ain't, it ain't that different. Yeah, it ain't that big like a small city. Yeah, but it's popping. Memphis, for the. Because Charlotte, we only really have the baby. And we got Money Only Mo on the way. He's definitely. I, I fuck with Fetty P. Franklin though. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah, yeah I, I got to tap in with them. Yeah, he got. Yeah. Even out here. Yeah. And uh, Tapping what's his it. name? I did a piece. Of, um, Juice. Reese? Yeah, I just did his name. F L F L F L M Juice, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, check uh, him out too. How uh, is it? Do you know when that's dropping? Or he just you just did the feature? Just did the feature. He was in Memphis actually. Oh, he's in Memphis. He was in Memphis and 
they just call me like three in the morning to do the feature. But you from out here though. Yeah. He how, fuck with us, sud them. How you feel about um people be giving Vlad TV a hard time as far as like they be thinking he's the the feds or the like he be asking questions that'll lead to your demise? Like, is that Vlad's fault or is it the person in front of the microphone? The person in front of the mic. I feel the same way. Uh, Vlad just doing what he supposed to do. I mean like it's like you're in an interrogation room, you know what the fuck to say and what not to say. Exactly. I feel the same way. I blame the person who's talking as opposed to the person asking the questions. Yeah, Even though they both kind of got, like, it's certain shit that you shouldn't ask questions Anything about. I don't want to answer, goddamn it, I ain't going to answer. Just don't answer it, right? It seemed yeah. that simple to me. Mm-hmm. Anything else to, um, coming up besides, like, so what about the videos as far as videos? Any videos dropping soon? Yeah, I'm working on all my videos for the 25th. You got a, that's the, the cameraman that's with you, that's who shoots your videos, or you got? Uh, nah, I just, this uh, Wilkes, he shit, Wilkes do everything. Yeah. Rap, goddammit, cameraman, <laughs> engineer, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's just one of them people, like, alone, everybody in here, I've been knowing them like a year and a half, at the most. Yeah. But I'm just building a team, so. That's a short amount of time, so, but. I'm guessing they on a job if you if you been running with with this long. Yeah, and I just go out vibes. Yeah. Everybody in here pure. From Memphis? Nah, some of them from Nashville. Yeah. Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. I think they from Atlanta. They might be flies. Do you still live in Memphis? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah. Or you just been uh, I do, but yeah. I don't. Yeah. I do, but I don't. Because you know we we be seeing a lot of shit that go on with people from their own city, but. How's the love in uh, Memphis? It's cool. But is it, you can move around how you want, basically? I move how I want to move anyway. Yeah. But you got to know how to move. Mm, that's key. Yeah, that's Knowing key. how to move is important. Yeah, for yeah. sure. That's what's up, man. We ain't going to hold you up too long, man. I appreciate your time. And album dropping when? Uh, April 25th, 13 and days away. And where can they find you at? I'm on everything. Instagram, God damn it. Everything with Twitter. I got credit Twitter. Eight of Valero on everything, though. All right, man. We appreciate you. I appreciate y'all, bro. All right.